gold is very much a uh, very gold is a currency throughout the history i won't go on let's say on length but it uh money was um like a check in a checkbook and what you would do is you get your gold and gold was a medium so gold is one of the currencies so we have dollars we have euros we have yen and we have gold and if you get into a situation where um, there's an alternative, and th in this world where we're looking at what are the alternatives, and the alternative, be best alternative becomes clearly one thing, something like gold, that there becomes a risk of that. Now, it doesn't have a capacity. Um, the capacity of moving money into gold in a large number is extremely limited. So the players in, in the world that I, you know, that I don't know, I have contact with who are move that money, really don't view gold as an, as an effective alternative, but we always, but it could be a barometer, and it is an alternative for smaller amounts of money. And if it's- Do you own gold? Oh, yeah. Uh, I do. <laughs> I think, well, I think anybody, let, let's be clear that I think anybody who doesn't ha have any, there's no sensible reason not to have some, if you're going to own a currency, if you don't, uh, it, it's not sensible not to own gold. Now, it depends on the amount of gold, but if you don't own, I don't know, 10% in, 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 if you don't have that, and then depends on the world, then, you, then there's no sensible reason other than you don't know history and you don't know the economics of it. But, uh, I, I, I th well, I mean, cash. So cash, it's an alternative. It's, it, view it in, in terms of an alternative form of cash, and also view it as a hedge against what the other parts of your portfolio are, because there's traditional financial assets. And so in that context, as a diversifier, as a source of, of that, there should be a piece of, the, of, of, of that in gold, is all I'm saying. Okay. And, but anyway, the notion, what I'm talking about here in terms of your reflection is that putting aside gold, I don't want to draw an inordinate amount of attention to gold, but I would want to say that the, in this world of liquidity and the world trying to find out what is the place and in, in which also, think about it, you know, for basically you get no interest rate. You might, so the question is, is cash under the bed better than, than treasuries? You, you're, you could be quite close to cash under the bed being better than treasuries, right? Because essentially, you know you're going to get it back if it's under the bed and, and you, or, in, or, or in a bank, and you're not giving you any money on it anyway. And so when you're looking at an international investor, somebody like, I don't know, the, a Chinese investor or something, and you say, what am I going to, I'm going to give you this, and you're going to give me zero interest rate for that. We are at one stage, we're at one level, and the question is, is it, does there become emerging some clear alternative and if it becomes emerging a clear alternative, we have to worry about that because it will, that will be the, the notion of, let's say, Japan. If we think in Japan, there's, there's all this uh, uh, Japanese save and, and they buy their bonds. And, and that can go on for a very, very long time. And it can go on here for a long time.